Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. Here's more in my Hadoop and Azure series. In this screencast, I'm going to start working with the interactive consoles that uh, come with the pro product. Kind of an interesting implementation in that you can work with both JavaScript or the Hive language um, to work with your uh, cluster. So JavaScript is, seems to be unique to Microsoft, so um, pretty interesting. And i got to tell you, the documentation is actually pretty good. So you get this from the download section. So I'm going to start working through this and checking it out. This is from the documentation. So uh, let's go. So first thing, it tells you to type help. So let's do that and see what we get. So it tells us a list of uh, things we can pass in here, expressions, see what's going on. We can obviously clear the screen, dump things out, give feedback, save the session. Looks like we can work with some other languages. So there's the pig language. I'm not making this stuff up. It's a pig fluent query where we're going to speak pig Latin to uh, work with our cluster, and then Hive, and then we can run um, we can run Hadoop uh, jar files here if we want to, or we can run MapReduces um, in uh, JavaScript, which is kind of interesting. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at a list of uh, other commands that we can work with, and if we pull this up, we can see that we have the the Hadoop commands here, so we can do things like work with the file system and, and things like that. So We'll come back to that in uh, just a minute. Um, we're going to just clear the screen off here. And uh, we're going to give some feedback because Microsoft loves to get feedback during, during beta. So uh, testing it out. Um, we are testing. And there we sent the feedback. So if you are part of the beta group, seriously, you should um, send feedback. That's uh, part of working with, with the beta. So feedback. So let's go back in. And uh, let's go back here and let's do something. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what files we have available. And we do that this way. And we can see that we have uh, four files available. Because of course, what, this is, what we're going to do is we're going to do some kind of map reduce or something with our cluster across these files. Uh, so let's uh, put a file up by doing fs put. And that's going to open a dialog box. And then let's use. Um, Got a, I've got a copy of the Gutenberg Bible, which is nice and big. Oh, let's not do that yet. Let's do. Let's actually do this small one because it take. It's going to be shorter for the video. So now we've got that up there. Now let's take a look at um, what what files we have available. So the syntax for that is like this. Um, uh, let's see. And then we want uh, this is to read it out actually. So uh, since that's up there, now we should be able to read that out. And let's scroll down and take a look at that. I think I might have made a little slip on that one. Yep, so I made a slip on that one. So I'm going to pause and uh, go and fix the syntax on this. All right, starting up again, I kind of got out of my workflow there. This command line's new to me. So what I meant to do is run this ls command to verify that my file had uploaded. There's my list of files. Um, and yes, the output of the pig job is oink. So That'll be in the next video. I bet you're dying to hear about pig, pig Latin, and oink output. Don't make this stuff up. I'm just showing you how to use it. So you uh, use this cat command, and then you can see the contents of the file. So that's that particular file. So now, if I want to um, upload something that we're going to work with in the next video, I'm going to upload um, an actual big file so we can do some uh, MapReduce against it. And this is the Gutenberg Bible. So uh, let's upload that. And that should take a little bit longer time, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I tried to put a big file, and it was too big. So I'm not sure exactly how big uh, the size can be. I don't see it documented. So uh, then I uh, created a kind of a medium-sized file, and I put that one up, and I called it medium. And I tried out a CSV, too, just to see if that would work. And then um, I used this cat command, um, and I forgot it was a CSV. So you can see all my little mistakes there. And then, uh, then I called the cat command, and then you can see the format of this file. And this is setting up for the next video here, where we've got a bunch of data, about 500 rows of data, that we're going to do some map reducing on. So anyway, uh, that'll come up next. This is Lynn Langett for more on all things data, www.lynnlangett.com. And uh, we'll be taking a look at MapReduce and Hadoop on Azure next. Thank you.